Hey everyone, Adrian here over at The Samplist. Today we're going to take a look at Frost, a patch library for Dark Zebra HZ by Sonic Underworld. Firmly sat in the ballpark of Nordic Noir, Frost blurs the lines between chaos and silence. This library is heavily influenced by those Nordic crime dramas and edgy tension found in Euro Noir. The patch library contains 180 synth presets crafted by Sonic Underworld and curated by Luftrum. Taking you from layered underscore loops to arpeggios, sequences, pads and plenty of sonic effects, the synth sounds evoke those winter landscapes that are synonymous with Nordic storytelling. The percussive elements are deep and dark enough to crack the frigid ice. Frost draws its inspiration from the haunting scores of the killing, stark soundscapes of the snowman, the Valhalla murders, the Millennium Treaty, Border Town and the gritty textures of the girl with a dragon tattoo. Frost is made for the Dark Zebra HZ which is included in Zebra Legacy and is fully compatible with Native Instruments complete control hardware. Currently priced at $35, let's take a listen to some of the sounds from this library. As there's 180 patches to play with in this library, I'm not going to go through actually all of them. What you will hear is a broad selection of sounds that will give you more than an idea of what this library sounds like. Some of these patches are also tempo locked. Now I've got my clock set at 80 BPM. So naturally, if you increase the BPM, the tempo uh, sequenced patches will sound faster. So let's give them a listen. Thank you. 
Now that we've had a little tour through some of the sounds, let's hear what it can do in a short composition. So there we go, a little sort of atmospheric track there. What we have going on here is a little bit of a drone underneath, it's LP the plot. So that sets an instant atmosphere straight away. And you couple that with some of these uh, wonderful soundscapes Fawn and God Complex. Has that Horns of Doom type sound, that, that does. And that's just plain eerie, that. Um, and if we put these two together, with the with the plot we get this so it makes you think this is going to be an omin ominous sort of creepy type track but then we have the twist which then goes into more melodic territory and we end up with some more sort of drums going on here. This is Grimmer. And then we have another one of these loops, uh, River Trail. And when you put them all together, we get this. So we get the kick on the on different beats, not quite always on. Well, we get them on the one, but we also get one somewhere, sort of like in the somewhere the two and the three mark on each bar, which just adds that unsettled feeling. But to give more melody, we end up with these pads, Wall of Silence and Fogbound.
Then for the actual melody, we use loose ends and olvo. And then to add a bit of movement to the track, we put this little sequence in, Things Buried. So we'll just mute that one and play from here. See how it all sort of like starts fitting together. These sounds really do fit very nicely together. And then during these sort of like long passage notes, we end up like with a sort of like bell quality sound with unspeakable. We end up with this. So I just play that from here with everything gone and <clears throat> and then to just grit things up a little bit we have this FX knife edge uh, just between each sort of section And that is about it. So on the way out, we put the atmosphere back on just to lend a little bit of sort of atmospheric ending. So there we go, Frost for the Dark Zebra HZ. This is a great library that exudes Nordic and Euro Noir. Cold, dark, with a throbbing bass lines. I really enjoyed giving this library a spin. There's a lot to unpack, and I got serious Johan Johansson vibes playing through a number of these patches. Some of the standout sections for this library were the loops and the pads. First the loops, there were some kind of cold visceral quality to them that just reeks of something sinister lurking around the corner. The pads on the other hand are light, airy, got that light glassy quality, but we still retaining that dark overtone for this type of genre. If you are looking to bolster your Nordic and Euro Noir sound palette, this patch library is certainly one to check out and pick up. The patches fit together nicely when mixed together and require very little in the way of balancing for the soundscape and uh, making sure that they don't peak too much. We would like to thank Sonic Underworld for sending Frost over for a review. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest releases in the music software world.